An artist is driven. Whether you are a filmmaker, make music, whatever drives you, we all have a story to tell. Something we want to leave behind to say that we were here. I am a filmmaker. I started from the ground up like many others. You work on as many projects as possible. You do your research. And when I felt I had a good enough network, it was my turn. In 2015, I got a chance to make a feature film. Your whole life shuts down. The script writer, acting, directing, producing, it's all on you. The ship sails or sinks because of you. You come up with your plan. You make your teaser trailer. You make your promotional posters. Off you go. Everything falls into place. Your cast and crew, led by you, knock out each day. As your project, your dream, comes to life. In the process, with a little luck, a TV network visits the set. You land an actor coming off a major film. You begin the long road of your edit. Your life shuts down. The bills keep coming. All your money you spent sits in a hard drive. As you keep paying bills on the film, you release your trailer. You have your test screenings. You re-edit the movie over and over. Your film gets reviewed. You do your film fest run. Then, they come for you. The distribution companies. Email after email comes from these distribution companies wanting your film. For, for some reason, the digital platforms came up with this business plan to have these guys called aggregators handle all, handle all the movies, all of them. The aggregator is the one that gets your film to the outlets you want to go. You can't talk to these networks. Only the aggregator can. Okay, and what they do is they check the movie for quality control, okay, and then they encode it for that particular platform. And for some reason, which makes zero sense, they're also responsible for collecting each film's revenue. The distribution companies have been taking advantage of the independent filmmaker for years. These people don't pay the filmmakers. They come up with reasons to withhold your money. They know we don't have the money to fight them in court. You can't talk to the networks to ask questions about it. You hear all the nightmare stories and you wonder, is there any other way? Ladies and gentlemen, distributor, finally a place where we can't lose. In the fall of 2018, I paid distributor to put my film on streaming outlets. That's how it works. I submitted what was needed by mid-January. It took until June 5th of 2019 for my film to arrive on these outlets. You get paid by quarter through distributor. When you go through distributor, they put your films on the streaming outlets. Nothing more. You do all the marketing. You do your podcasts. You do your convention run. You drop more money. Your art is in good hands. So you think. September comes and the pay date passes. You send emails. And for the first time ever, you don't hear anything back. You investigate. Then, it happens. They go bankrupt. Not only do they go bankrupt, they give no warning. No email. No statement of any kind. To make matters worse, 
days after closing the office, they get jobs elsewhere in the industry. When an office closed, your film, your passion, is frozen within these outlets. The allocator is the one that has to take your film down from the outlet. That leaves the filmmaker out in the cold and a whole lot of work to do to try to get the film pulled down. What they didn't count on was us filmmakers bonding together. Uh, it, this is an obvious case of mismanagement. Uh, I found this company called Distriver. The message that I kept hearing from this company was that it had kind of been started by a bunch of filmmakers who had, already, uh, who had been screwed over. Because they're trying to wash their hands as quick as they can because they think these thousands of people are just going to forget that it ever happened. Well, you're fucking wrong. None of us are going to forget, okay? We got our story told on major media outlets. For myself, to know that after all the hard work that was put into my film, that walk of shame is the worst part of all this. The money loss is secondary to that. As for the other thousand filmmakers caught in this mess, some that took out double mortgages, put their life savings into their film. I just wonder how these people from Distributor, how could you sleep at night knowing you were one of us? You were supposed to be our voice. And with no warning, you fold shop. You give no statement. You hire lawyers to liquidate the company. You do this with our hard earned money. I have zero idea how any of you have jobs in this business still. After much work on getting my film pulled down from the mess that you made for us. It's popping up again. But for you, Jason, Neil, Michael, Nick, I just wanted to let you know what you left me with what you did to all of us. This was my tale on Distributor.